yesterday we took a phone call from a young woman called Kim from Budrum. Long story short, her husband, brand new husband, was cheating on her with a neighbour. Um, everything was going great, but my, my <laughs> Brad's phone went off while we were sitting at the bridal party table and like, you know, he was he was off with his mate, so I went to go and grab it and give it to him and I saw like a message on it. Um, <laughs> it was from a woman, I didn't recognise the name and it was like, I don't know, who just said some stuff in it. I, it's like, I, w- I didn't want to read into it too much, so I just gave him his phone and I kind of tried, to, like I let it go, like, you know. I just couldn't, I couldn't shake the feeling that, like, I was on the money there. Like, that was, that was a giant red flag, and I just, I don't know, I needed to talk to him about it. So, I brought it up on the flight, and turns out, like, he didn't even, he didn't even bloody deny it. Like, turns out, he had an affair with our neighbour this whole time that we were together, and um, he just... <laughs> He just was like, it's over though, like, you know, we, we're not together anymore, like, you know, we got married, so that's the last of it, you know, I'm never going to see her again, let's just enjoy this honeymoon. And I was like, are you kidding me? So have you? are you still yeah. together or have you broken up now? Oh, no, no, I, I, it was so embarrassing, I felt so pathetic. It was the worst experience and it's taken me a while to get over it, but I would do anything just screw that guy over, I just... I want him to feel as used and, like, pathetic oh. as I felt because it was so embarrassing. So that just echoed in my head. Oh, I want to screw over my ex. I want to screw over my ex. Was, and, I, and it was bouncing around my head all day. And I couldn't get her pain out of my chest. Mm. And I know you and I spoke about it after the show going, what a what a jerk this guy sounds, mm. rah, rah. So what, what are you thinking? It triggered me to the point where her wording was so strong I think we should give her the opportunity to do what she wants. To, to screw over her ex. What, what do you mean? Literally. How do you propose on doing this without, like, obviously going into too much detail? I got mates with choppers. <laughs> you weren't joking, were you? I'm not joking. Let's get her up in a chopper to achieve her goal. You with me? Dude, I don't. Are you with me? Because I'm going to get fired if you're not.